Hello, Spacies. By now, what we have understood about space is, there is always something new happening out there. But today's video is not about some new planet's discovery or water or another planet. In this video, we are going to talk about something serious. Do you know Earth is moving towards something strange? And we have no clue what it is. Yes, you heard that right. Stay with us till the end of the video if this strange thing is going to destroy Earth. Let's begin. Back in the 1970s, scientists looked at this cool glow left over from when the universe was born. It's like a cosmic time capsule. Anyway, they found out something wild. You, me, and everything in our galaxy are zooming through space crazy fast like we are on a super speedy roller coaster, going at 390 meters per second. That's faster than you can blink. Sounds unbelievable, right? Isn't the space filled with almost every phenomenon and thing that is beyond human imagination? To put this phenomenon in simple terms, since you clicked on this video, you have already traveled over 11,000 miles and you thought you were just chilling on the couch. Ah, huh, these are beyond Earth things. Now figuring out how fast our galaxy moves was a big achievement, but it also gave scientists a bit of a scare. See, they couldn't quite explain why we were zipping along so swiftly. It was like our galaxy had a mind of its own, dragging us off course. Spooky, right? But wait, it gets even crazier ahead. Turns out, it's not just our galaxy feeling the pull. Every single galaxy in our neck of the cosmic woods, around 100,000 of them, is getting tugged toward this mysterious thing. And it's not just a little tug, it's a cosmic tractor beam. However, the astronomers, being the creative bunch they are, named this mysterious force the Great Attractor. Cool name, right? But figuring out what it is? That's the real challenge. Picture the only thing in the universe strong enough to drag entire galaxies around like toys is gravity. Yes, good old gravity. The more stuff something has, the stronger its gravity. So, whatever this great attractor is, it's gotta be mind-blowingly huge. We are talking universe-bending colossal. So, what is this thing, and what's gonna happen when it finally grabs hold of us? That's the million-light-year question. To get certain answers from outer space, astronomers trying to peek at it through their telescopes hit a cosmic roadblock. Why? Because our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is like a cluttered attic, filled with cosmic dust bunnies and gas clouds. A messy space, called the Zone of Avoidance, hides about 10% of the universe including the Great Attractor, smack dab in the middle. So, for decades, this cosmic mystery kept us scratching our heads. By studying how it tugs on other galaxies, we figured out its rough location. It is situated somewhere between 150 and 250 million light years away, near the Norma constellation. And believe us, it's huge, like mind-blowingly massive, with a mass equivalent to 10 quadrillion. Well, a whole lot of stuff. Some years back, that number just sounded like gibberish, I mean, Nothing in our universe comes close to being that gigantic. But the largest thing ever found is this ultra-massive black hole called Ton 618. It's so insanely huge, that part of me wonders if those sneaky astronomers just made it up for a good laugh. This cosmic beast is almost 250 billion miles wide and powers up a quasar with the brightness of 140 trillion suns. It's like the ultimate cosmic nightmare but it only weighs about 66 billion times the mass of our sun. Pretty hefty for a black hole, but still a far cry from the beastly great attractor. Now, there's some talk about an even bigger black hole called Phoenix A, with around 100 billion solar masses. But hey, there's some debate about its true size. So, if the biggest thing we know of can't explain the gravitational pull of the great attractor, what can? Well, here's the twist. Thanks to fancy new telescopes that can see beyond what our eyes can, we have finally peeped through the cosmic clutter to catch a glimpse of the great attractor's neighborhood. And guess what? It's not just one big thing out there. Not at all. It's a whole bunch of galaxies, loads of them. I know it sounds kinda anticlimactic, but seeing what's beyond the cosmic haze helped us grasp the true essence of the great attractor. And let me tell you, 
It wasn't quite what we expected. All right, buckle up because we are taking a trip back to the beginning of time. Picture the universe not as a chaotic mess, but as a carefully structured web, kind of like a giant cosmic spider web. We call this the cosmic web. Now, why does this cosmic web exist? Well, way back when the universe was just a baby, it wasn't all the same. There were little bumps and dips in how matter was spread out. The bumpy bits had more stuff in them, which meant they had a stronger gravitational pull. Over billions of years, these bumpy bits grew even bigger, pulling in more and more stuff. Think of it like a cosmic game of attracting matter. The rich get richer, and the poor, well, they stay poor. So Margaret Thatcher. As gravity did its thing, it formed these incredible structures, from stars to galaxies, all the way up to superclusters. And guess what? We are a tiny part of this big picture. Our sun hangs out in the Milky Way galaxy, which is part of a group of galaxies called the Local Group. And that's just one tiny piece of a massive puzzle called the Virgo Supercluster, with around 4,500 galaxies. But when we finally peeked beyond the cosmic haze, we realized that the Virgo Supercluster is just a branch of an even bigger structure, the Laniakea Supercluster. Now, wrap your head around this. The Laniakea Supercluster is about 520 million light years across and holds around 100,000 galaxies. Yes, it's super huge. And guess where the mysterious Great Attractor hangs out? Right in the heart of this supercluster. But here's the twist. The Great Attractor isn't a thing, it's a place. What? We had the same response. So, next time you look up at the stars, remember that we are just a speck in this huge cosmic neighborhood. Imagine our universe as a trampoline. Now, throw a heavy weight on it. That weight represents something massive, like a black hole, or in our case, the Great Attractor. The trampoline bends and curves under the weight, showing how space-time bends around massive objects. The deeper the bend, the stronger the gravity. Now, picture the Great Attractor sitting right at the deepest point on the trampoline. It's like the center of a whirlpool, pulling everything around it closer. In our corner of the universe, all the surrounding galaxies are slowly falling towards this gravitational hotspot. But here is where it gets tricky. Remember how we mentioned we are hurtling towards the Great Attractor? Well, at our current speed, we would reach it in about 95 billion years. Sounds like a long time, right? But hold up, we have got a cosmic curveball coming our way. You see, the universe isn't just sitting still, it's expanding and that expansion is speeding up over time. So even as we race towards the Great Attractor, the distance between us and it will keep growing. It's like two ants crawling towards each other on a balloon that's being inflated. No matter how fast they rush, they will never quite meet because the space between them keeps expanding. So sadly, our descendants won't get to high-five the Great Attractor. And here is where things get a bit existential. As the universe expands, it will eventually cut us off from everything else out there. The galaxies beyond our local group will drift away faster than the speed of light, leaving us stranded in a lonely cosmic void. It's a bit of a cosmic bummer, but hey, that's the way the universe works. The grand cosmic web we know today will slowly fade away into nothingness. Whatever we talked about in this video was scary. What is your take on Great Attractor? Do share your views in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like and share. For more such content, subscribe to our channel right away. See you soon in the next video.